So now in this video, I want to uh, quickly show how I'm going to try to get 0.1 milliamp of current. It doesn't have to be exact, but that's the amount of current I desire. Uh, 0 0.1 milliamps of current, same as 100 microamps of current. So using the LM334 component here, it's an adjustable current source. It's only three terminals. And the pin layout is V plus on the left, R in the middle, and V minus on the right there. This flat side is facing us, TO92 package. And so you put a resistance between R and V minus, and it sets the current. And it doesn't matter what the voltage is coming through. The uh, temperature of the component, though, does matter. As it heats up, more current's going to go through. And if it's cooler, a little less current. But it's not a drastic change, but there is the change to be aware of. So ideally, after you set it, you don't really want the component to heat up more than you have to. So the lower currents you work with, the better. Uh, but in any case, that's all stuff to review the data sheet for. And uh, so what we have here, we'll zoom back a little bit, is we have the component and the way to think of what current you're going to have flowing through the component it's going to set it as long as the load's not too big it will hold the current steadily you take the resistance across uh, R and a V minus and you start with the voltage of 0 0.064 volts so that's at 25 degrees Celsius 77 degrees Fahrenheit uh, so a little bit warm but that's probably what the component will warm up to with a uh, low current so you take that voltage and then you divide it by the resistance you pick across it. So it makes it really easy if your resistors have 64 in the number. So I tried to get 640 ohms of resistance here because 0 0.064 divided by 640 is 0 0.0001 or 0.1 milliamps of current or 100 microamps of current however you want to look at it so in a perfect world we would have all those numbers and I picked a 510 ohm resistor and I put it in series with a 150 ohm resistor for about uh, 660 ohms of resistance so it's just a little bit above 640 but I don't need an exact value of current if I didn't need an exact value of current, I would uh, get some more resistors involved because I don't have a 640 ohm resistor exact. But in any case, we can uh, test this out right now. Turn the meter on and measure first the uh, voltage at the power supply rail. So right now, the V plus pin is floating and nothing is flowing through the component. So we have 18 volts at the rail. Exact voltage doesn't matter. And uh, according to the data sheet, this component's rated for up to 40 volts. And uh, it doesn't look at the voltage of the power supply. It just provides a voltage from R to a V minus and looks at the resistor value, basically. And uh, pretty reliably sets the current from there. So now we're going to go to milliamps. Right there. And I have my power supply set to output less than one amp of current. So for this particular meter, we are safe measuring the current anywhere, but you should still avoid measuring a power supply directly for the most part. And there you can see we have 0.1 milliamps of current. So that's exactly what I want right there. But for a more accurate reading, we can go down to the microamp range. So we definitely know it's not in the milliamp range. And uh, go to the microamp range. Micro is one millionth of an amp. And uh, so now again, we measure the current there. And you can see it's actually, this will be a lot more accurate, it's actually just slightly above 0.1 milliamps or 100 microamps. But uh, this is good enough. Usually in electronics, you don't have to be exact in your values. If you're close, that's good enough. Because as I said already, temperatures make a difference. Resistors don't have 100% accuracy and these are rated for 1% accurate.
but they're really cheap. I don't even think they live to that 1% accuracy and whatnot. So, in any case, this is a really simple component to use. Once you have that uh, 0.064 voltage in mind, especially after you understand how it will be affected by temperature, it uh, makes the math uh, really easy. It's a really easy component to use once you get over a couple kind of confusing uh, aspects if math is not uh, really exciting to you. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.